news, Papa. Papa's a good boy. Got some breaking news overseas right now. Just coming into us right now, uh, a Navy F-18 Super Hornet pilot has ejected safely in the sea south of the Philippines. And what up, guys? We have some crazy breaking news, man. The stories are still developing. But, you know, as you can see, as you just saw from that first news clip, an F-18 did go down near the coast of the Philippines. You can definitely expect if anything breaking, if anything crazy happens with the military, with the Navy, you know your boy's gonna make a video about it. You know I'm gonna let you guys know what's going on. No injuries to the pilot apparently working with the USS Carl Vinson, which at the moment is heading toward the Korean Peninsula. Apparently there isn't any foul play. Um, it seemed that the F-18 was on final approach and for whatever reason the pilot had to eject. They do not know why the pilot was safely recovered by my fellow helicopter squadron members. I believe it was HSC-4 that recovered the pilot. The pilot has no injuries, but we did lose a $100 million aircraft. And we just gave away our positioning, man. This is huge because obviously that was a head fake. Obviously, we were not headed towards North Korea. So just to further clarify what I meant, last week it was announced that this strike group and CVN-70, the Carl Vincent, was supposed to be heading to the Korean Peninsula. And to find out from this crash today, it was, for whatever reason, um, you know, uh, false intel given out there. But apparently now, as of today, we are now heading up to North Korea. No, I just want to talk about real quick what this means for that ship. I've been in the position that those sailors are on that ship right now. When I was headed to the Persian Gulf, they stressed, you know, my command, my squadron, the whole ship knew this was our Super Bowl. You know, this is, we're in the fucking Persian Gulf, we're combat deployed, like everything we're doing now, it means something. Like, we have to perform 100% up tempo, um, crazy hours every single day. And now just imagine that stress and that pressure on that flight deck and on that crew and now you just had an F-18 that went into the drink. So now that squadron is gonna be under so much fucking scrutiny. Those sailors, every, their every little move, any move that they do is gonna be under a microscope. As to what happened, as to why the F-18 went into the drink, like I said, it was on final approach. So when the F-18's on final approach, it does a huge loop and it's coming straight on, onto the flight deck. Now I don't know how far it was from the flight deck, you know, I don't know why the pilot had to eject. I don't know if it was mechanical. Um, I'm assuming it had to be something mechanical. Because when they are on final approach, a lot of it is computer automated. Something major had to fail on that aircraft for the pilot to have to eject. And it just th thankfully, the pilot's okay. The helicopter squadron recovered him without, um, he has no injuries. Uh, it is sad though, we did lose a $100 million aircraft. Um, so, <sighs> gonna stretch that military budget thin there already now there is some footage that i found off of that flight deck that i wanted uh, to look over because you know we don't know for sure is it a mechanical failure of that f-18 why it went down but also could it have been something that happened on the flight deck so here's some footage for, of that flight deck crew and you can see that complacency has possibly set in as you're about to see the yellow shirts here and the tow tractor drivers are chilling under this greyhound in some shade but that dude's practically passed out and, uh, you know, that is one thing that you have to worry about on these deployments and all, with all this stress and, stress and pressure. Mistakes can happen, complacency can set in on a long deployment and lead to mishaps and um, accidents. But again, we're just speculating. I'm just looking over the footage. And um, thank you so much, fam, for all the support. I really fucking appreciate it. I mean, family friendly, JT, family friendly. I really freaking A appreciate you guys, man. Social media below is always videos every day on the channel. We're on the grind, we're on the road to 50K. We're about to hit 36, 37, 40K soon. You guys are killing it. Appreciate you. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, Papa. Goodbye, Papa. Goodbye, Papa. We'll see you again tomorrow.